rise against me at the time of my harvest. My harvest. My time, my period of harvest. Father, let your fire continue. My harvest will not go to the wrong way again. Oh Lord, my Father, I need a elevator. Give me my elevator. Go ahead and pray now. Adam, I relocate my destiny by fire to the mountain of glory. In the name of Jesus, that is a mountain of glory. Pray that prayer for yourself. and say, Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be magnified. Just go out and worship him. Exalt the name of the Lord. Magnify him. Praise him. Lift him higher. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we worship your name. Father, we give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's be your name, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped him. That is a woman that needs this word most importantly. I have come in the name of the Lord to announce to you. Your crown will not get lost. I decree again in the name that's above every other name. Your crown will not get lost. Amen. 
I say it again. In the mighty name of Jesus, your crown will not get lost. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory be to your name. Now, you are going to pray some prayer this morning and you will forget about your status. Thank you, Father. You will lift your voice. Maybe I should allow you to do it now. I don't want to. I'm trying to wait for some people that are coming late, but I think we need to do it now. You will cry like a baby. Cry the cry. You're supposed to cry for enemy. Cry it here now. The cry that they thought that we cry. Because my daddy said you will not cry it. Amen. Amen. They will cry the cry to God now. You are going to say, Father, anything that will happen that will make someone to be missing my family suddenly. It will never happen. Are you ready to pray? Husband, pray for your wife and children. Wife, pray for your husband and children. I say, Father. Are you there? Say, Father. Whatever we make someone to be missing suddenly. In my family. family. It will never happen. Go ahead and cry to God. Go ahead and cry to God. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. I have come to tell you in the name of the Lord of hosts. In the name of Jesus Christ. None shall be missing. Amen. Is that the amen you can say? Amen. In the name of Jesus, you will not be missing. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hear me as I hear the Lord. The Lord said, there is somebody... You have been seeing the traces. He said they want your organ to pack up suddenly. Mm. Organs. To pack up suddenly. They targeted the kidney and the liver. The Lord said I should tell you. Tell you the arrow will return to them now. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus every part of our body all the organs in our body that the enemy tried to attack they are sealed with the blood of Jesus I prophesy to somebody. Your year we hear good news. Thank you, Father. Uh, just allow me to do what God asks me to do. The Lord said, there is somebody that has been buried. He said, as I should tell you, I've given you two. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father.
Now hear me, brethren. Yesterday the law told me something. He said, do you know that there are some people that you will move with? To a barney. And in your Josibi Ogoma Yakoko. Then your movement to glory will be faster. There are some people you are going to move with. That your movement to glory will be faster. In your Josibi Ogoma Yakoko. And there are some people you will move with. That will take you away from glory. Are you ready to pray? That person that I'm moving with that is drawing me back from my glory. Lord Jesus, separate us today by Whoever I am joining with that is taking me away from glory. Separate us today. Come on, God, and pray that prayer. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Whatever I'm doing, I decree that in the name of Jesus, separate us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Amen, Jesus. I want you to say amen if you want to say amen. Whosoever you are joining with, that is taking you away from your glory. Hey, you don't know. If you ever can be louder, there shall be separation now. Amen. 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 Now, you will pray the second one better now. Who am I to go with? Who am I to join with? That I will get to my glory faster. Connect us, O God. Lord, call us so Who is that fellow that I'm supposed to judge the way? That I will get to the place of glory quickly. Father, connect us, O God. Lift your voice, say, Father. You can do better, say, Father. Baba. Whosoever I need to join the way. That I will get to the place of glory. Connect us together. Go ahead and cast us together. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus, the Lord will connect you to that fellow that will take you to a place Amen. of glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Some years ago, the Lord said there is a blessing that you should have gotten to your hand Only some years ago. Hey, but because of this conspiracy, they took it away from you. I want to teach your mother, my mother. Those people that conspire against you may not know them. Oh God! Every spirit of conspiracy. No you are here. In the in the in the physical. No you In the spiritual. In no parlor. Amen. 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 Can somebody pray? Can you pray? Show badura. Can you pray? Show the badura. Please pray. Badura. Talk what the battle is. If that uh, battle is, you, if you can conquer it. Talk, talk with Barcelona. If that uh, uh, this problem is conquered today, you will see that you begin to see your glory tomorrow. We lift your voice and say, Father. Ah, the battle of conspiracy. That is confronted by my family. Scatter by fire. Oh, 
I had a fire turned out of God to destroy them. Yeah. Hey, hey. Whatever they use conspiracy to take oh. out of your life. Oh, you are recovered now in the name of Jesus. Hey, Thank you, Father. You pray again. Oh, too bad, right? I'm asking you to pray as I'm led by the Spirit. That spirit of poverty, that spirit of affliction, wherever you are coming from, come out of my life. Anywhere you can go, get out of my life. You spirit of affliction. You can go to anywhere, but come out of my life. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father! Say, Father! You spirit of affliction. You As the children of God will say this louder, amen. I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, said that is somebody hearing me. He said, from today, your life will begin to run faster. Amen. Ah, who is our fellow? Who is our fellow? Who is our fellow? I see your life running faster, 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 in the name of Jesus. That is uh, the fact remain that you are the best among your mates. But you are still at the back position. That is to tell you. I will take you to your original status. Amen. I will take you Thank you, Father. Please be seated in God's presence.
Thank you, Father. Baba Ishe. Thank you, mighty daddy. It is where. It is where. It is where. Somebody still need to say me. It is where. Amen. You are very used to it is where. But God has sent me to come and tell you today that it is well. I love that. He changed my sermon to one in the, this morning. And I had to sit down. One of my daughter woke up in the middle of the night and said, Daddy, you are not sleeping. What happened? I said, it is where? He got, God said to me, begin to write it. It is where? And I have to prepare the message. My test is taken from 2 Kings 4, 18 to 26. And my topic is it is well. Second Kings 4 18 to 26. We are going to read together. Are we ready? Look at the screen. One to go. And when the child was grown. Now, the boy said, only me. My head, my head. And the father said, carry him to what? To the mother. Let's go. I want to go. When they took him to the mother, he lay with the mother to new. And died. Your child will not die. Amen. Your children will not die. Amen. You will not cry over your loved ones. And they will not cry over you. They will not console you with it as well. Hey, do you hear that one? They will not console you with it as well. Amen. 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 Let's go at one to go. She lay the dead boy on the bed of the man of God. And shut the door. And she left. The mother that the son died. She didn't even cry. Lay the boy on the bed of the man of God that she prepared. She was the one that prepared the bed for the oh, man of God. And she laid the boy there and shut the door and left. Let's go. Where to go? The man of God. It's not no, it's not Sabbath. And she said, He shall be well. Hear me? Her son died. She didn't move to the husband. But she said to the husband, He shall be well. Go ahead, want to go. Watch this. 
with your child. And she answered. Somebody shout, it is where. It is where. Yo, Dara. I'm going somewhere. I'm not sleeping. They ask her. Is it well with you? So she Is it well with your son? Is it well with your son? The son that's already died dead. And she said, It is well. Many of us we are so familiar with it is well. But God said today it is well we be it is well. Amen. Amen. I see some people is claiming it. Yet. It is well we be it is well. Miracle comes by faith. Miracle comes by faith. Brethren, do you know one thing? That not every closed door is locked door. Thank you, ma'am. Many of us, we have received a miracle, but we don't have the faith to open the door. When you see a door, don't believe that it is locked. It's only closed. And when they close the door, you can open. I command today, every closed door to your destiny shall be opened. Amen. Amen. Before I got married, many days. I don't lock my door. I don't lock the door. Oh, even remember to lock the door. Oh, even now, my wife will be the one to go and check and lock the I don't know. How to lock the door. One day she was abusing me. Said, you don't even shake the door. You don't. You just go as a. Let me talk by Israeli more can soon. Man, can talk be. Do you know that closing your door? In Georgia, my friend, we buy like we ready at the table because even when the thief are going, if they didn't move closer to the door, they will not know whether it is locked or not. <laughs> if they don't branch, they can't know whether it is locked. Many of us, we are standing before a open closed door. <laughs> and you are saying, oh Lord, give me a miracle. Come and open the door now. Faith! Is a foreigner to any miracle. Faith. You must believe in miracle before you experience miracle. What you don't believe, you can't become. You must believe before you become. You must have faith before you can receive from him. This woman, she said, it will be well. That was her first statement. Later, she said, it is well. Later, it end up where? <laughs> I prophesy to somebody here. For you and your family. It will end up where? Amen. Let me rush and tell you seven things about this one. Number one. Number one. There is someone called the Prince of Peace. Benima is a Prince of Peace. The fact that you know God doesn't mean that you will not pass through. It doesn't mean that you will not see problem. Why? Test is a forerunner for testimony. Trial is a forerunner for triumphant. Challenges is a forerunner to become a champion. 
the guarantee we have as a child of God is what the Bible said in Psalm 34 verse 19. Psalm 34 verse 19. He said many are the affliction of the righteous but the Lord delivered them from them all. Can I prophesy to somebody before you leave this auditorium today you shall be delivered from affliction. The difference between Christians is that the Prince of Peace will steal the storm. Storm will come. When you see storm, it's because you are going places. Whenever eagle sees storm, the he will rejoice. Eagle first storm because storm push him higher. Every storm that meant to pull you down shall be your stepping stone to higher ground. John 16 verse 33 says John 16 33 he said those things I have spoken to you that in me you will have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good share I have overcome the world that is a woman and a man saying amen I declare you overcomer because Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 says Isaiah 43 verse 2 says when you pass through water I will be with you and the river shall not overflow you he said when you pass through fire you shall not be burned your passing through today is ever declared as a breakthrough. According to Mark, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. Mark chapter 4, 35 to 41. The Bible says on, on the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they have led the multitude, they took him along in the boat. And Jesus was in their boat. That Jesus is in your boat doesn't guarantee that storm will not come. The only guarantee is definitely you will not sink. You will get to the promised land. Hallelujah. Hmm. <laughs> you will not sink. Oh, really? You will get to the promises. Oh, okay. Thank you, Father. Do you believe this? Ah, thank you. Ah. At least you believe. You know what I just said? Many will we have testimony. Amen. 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 We are the many. Amen. Let me hear that say amen loud and clear. Amen. Therefore, there is a God called Prince of Peace. Number two, there is someone called the Restorer. The Restorer. There are thieves. There are thieves. John chapter 10 verse 7. John 10 10. The Bible said the chief coming to see, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. I have come as a restorer. I have come as a restorer. That is a restorer. This restorer is here this morning. 
You have been saying it is where. And it was not where. You are saying it is where. But it is tough. I am a restorer. He will restore you in the name of Jesus. In that second Kings, verse chapter 4, 18 to 26, the chief entered the life of this woman and took away the song. Instead of her to shout, instead of her to cry, she said it is where. Brother, hear me. Many of us, we are telling God our problem. Why are you telling God your problem? We will be saying, no, God, see my problem. You even describe your problem to God. You will tell God how big your problem is. Why are you telling God your problem? Instead of you to tell your problem, your God. When you tell your problem, who is your God? Your problem will flee away. When you tell your problem that I serve a living God, when you tell your problem that my father will destroy you, when you tell your problem that my father is a restorer, your problem will see your God and flee away. Today, that's your problem. We encounter your God. I notice one thing. There is nothing a man is, is passing through that is not the name of God. For example, if you are passing through poverty, there is a name of God that can cancel that. Richer than the riches. He said, the yeah, air is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Whatever you are passing through, there is a name of God that can counter attack it. Tell your problem the name of your God. If your problem is failure, Say your problem. That the name of my God is a God that never fails. Whatever is your problem, if your problem is sickness, say your problem. That your God is Jehovah Rapha. There is nothing you are passing through. That there is no name of God to speak to it. I stand on this altar today. Your problem will hear the name of your God and talk to testimony. The thief came to the life of this woman and stole the only son. But the restorer restored the boy. Number three. This woman Lay the child on the bed. She made for the man of God. When I got to this place, I remember last week's sermon. Hey. I did bring this woman didn't prepare a bed for the man of God. Where will she lay the boy? She prepared. She prepared for the man of God. Said, where the man of God is going, said, Ma, anytime you are coming, when you want to rest, come and rest in my house. And she prepared a bed. Not knowing that she was preparing a bed that will restore the only son. But no, no matter what to do for God, oh, let me put it like this. There is nothing you do for God that will go in vain. Your sacrifice will be rewarded. The woman prepared the bed. Expecting the man of God when he was when he's coming back to come and lay. It was the bed that delivered his son. 
She laid the boy on the bed. She's simply saying, I have already made deposits. It's time for withdrawal. She made deposit of the bed. It's not time for withdrawal. If you don't deposit money in the bank, you cannot go there to withdraw. No matter how stupid your faith is, they will send you back. I was watching on the internet yesterday. A man doesn't have a passport, doesn't have anything. He went to... I said, I'm going to America. Oh, no, we America. Koni passport. Koni wearing on. Koni on phone. That is faith. Koni bag bo. Oni oni bag bo. But that's the stupid faith. Faith without work. Koni bag bo. Like it's shiny. If you have something, to ba ni kong. That God will bless. Eh, you tell on your book. Because the Bible says, I will bless the work of your hand. Bible ni we pe on your book. That must be something that I will bless. On to ba wa lo wa wa lo lo on your book. Brethren, this woman deposits and I, she made the withdrawal. Number four. Wash your mouth. Hey, Wash your mouth. On Sunday, I told them, wash your door. Wash, wash your mouth. mouth. Now, but I was asking myself. If you look at the Bible very well, it is where was not common. It is where was not common. Who told this woman? Who told her? Who taught her to say it is where? The first thing is she told the husband, it shall be where. When she moved to the man of God. She has graduated from it shall be well. She now moved to it is well. Wash your mouth. Whatever you say is what you will see. Maybe I shall allow you to say it now. Say beside your money, you'll be great in life. Maybe I shall allow you to say it. Say to sell your money, you will not die suddenly. I, I, I told them on Sunday about the story of a man. Okada rider. He carried a man. I will tell you the street. They call the street Oyaro Bolem Street. In, in Ondo Road, o, in Akure. Ondo road, no, Akure. That road. Oni on no ye. The Okada man carried this man. Alakuni Yogbe, Okada man, Yogbe. Climb a little hill. One one go, get a terrepon. A truck was coming from Hop. Then, Moto Lacon, Paul, I took it. And the, the Okada said, Okada, uh, the man, rather. And it's your Lacada, be. The man said, No, by the way. Ah, check his motto, you don't have a Check his motto, you don't have a family. Okay, don't worry. He, 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 he said, I, I hope, hope God, this guy will not kill us now. Uh, this guy will not come and kill me. And suddenly, no, Gigi. the car lost break. And ran after on the two of them. And the Okada man came out under the car without any stress. And the man that said this car will kill Okadama was the one that was shouting, ah, and this man was saying it to ah, me. I was even saying, Why are you saying it? Don't rub it. Whatever you say, you oh. will see. Oh. Wash your mouth. Oh. Say, You shall be well with me. Maybe I should allow you to shout it so that your neighbor will hear. Say this week, this week. It shall be well with you and my family. Maybe you should say loud as hell today. No, 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 no. Elia Shele. There will be testimony. Amen. 
Whatever you say is what you will see. The woman said in verse 23, she said it shall be well. And eventually it was well. Even in the midst of dead body, it's the only son that's already dead. She was still confessing good because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Proverbs 18, 21. He said, Death and life are in the power of tongue. Proverbs 6, verse 2. Proverbs 6, verse 2. He said, You are snared by the word of your mouth. And you are taken by the word of your mouth. You remember what Mark 11, 23 and 24 says. Mark 11, 23 and 24. The Bible says, for surely I said to you, whoever said to this mountain be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that this thing he has said will be done, he will have what he has said. If you say it and you believe it, you will have what you have said. Tell your neighbor, wash your mouth. Number five. This woman prophesied. Don't look for prophets. There is a prophecy in you. <laughs> you don't believe it. Uh, there is a prophetic anointing inside of you. If you are created by God. Oh. And you have given your life to Jesus. There's an element of prophetic inside of you. Second Kings 4 26. Verse 26, the woman said, It is where. She said, It is where. And that was a prophecy. And it was where. The woman with the, the woman with the issue of blood. In Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. The woman with the issue of blood said, If I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. That was a prophecy before manifestation. Some of you, you say, Checking Lord Destiny Encounter. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, let me just go to that city counter. It's the same way I used to go and come back. You have received your own. But some people will tell me, let me go to that city counter today. When I come back, the testimony is here. And you will get it. We normally do a one program called um, Power Service. And I notice a woman with all, she always gets bigger testimony. One day she was not sharing her testimony. And now God a secret. She said every Saturday night that preceded power service, she will wake up. Take a white handkerchief, I want you. I begin to speak to my destiny. My own destiny. No. I said, Father, let him speak concerning me tomorrow. <laughs> Disturb him. Let him speak <laughs> about my matter. As your son, Pastor, with some money, we climb the altar. Let him speak. If he cannot remember anybody, he must remember my case. And as he's saying it, let it come to pass. There is no time I climb the altar that I will not speak concerning her. Why? She has said to my matter in the night. <laughs> I stand on this altar. Maybe you have been expecting God to speak through me concerning oh, oh, your mother. I have a word from the throne of mercy for in you. The name of Jesus. Within the next 24 hours, mercy will set to your matter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
prophesy about yourself, about your children. Wow. Number six. This woman cried for help when she needed help. She cried to Jesus. Second King chapter 4. Verse 1 to 7. Don't be silent. Cry to God of miracles. He will intervene. Ask him. He will give unto you. Is your father? Is my daddy? Is your daddy too? Daddy, daddy, We are his baby. Cry. He will answer you. Just sit down. And finally, all is well. Amen. Amen. Thank you, daddy. Hmm. Thank you, father. That is if you don't borrow. You can't get anything done. You say that has been your life. If you don't borrow, you can't get anything done. Now they ask me to tell you. He said, I will visit the source of your finance. And you will not borrow again. Ah, thank you, Daddy. The Lord said, "There is somebody hearing me." Oh, no, I pray any come back on Bawa. He said, "The woman, the station to be working against your life." Oh, no, I pray Obi. If you want back, I let that woman share no dis. I hear it. And she says she's the one working on your matter. Oh, we pray on no. We see on no. She share no real on it. Daddy said, "I will make her to be paralyzed." Hey, oh, no, I pray. We pray on your yard, Lord. On your side, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bide togun togun, bide tija tija, bide alagbara, bide olorumi, ko wa se. As I conclude, be a thing pari. When I was preparing the message, I said, Lord, when evil happen, they normally use the same word to console us as a Christian. When it did, but if you are shelling. If they want to console a Christian, what are they going to say? <laughs> you know why? They are using our weapon against us. The Bible says, Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. They know that this well is our weapon. Because when we say it, God will back it up and it will end well. But they've converted your prophecy positively to negative consolation. Hear me this day. You that they've been consoling with it is where. Your story will be now is now where. Please rise on your feet. Please rise on. Bow down your head as you stand. If you know you are still living in sin, just raise up your hand. You don't need to. You don't need to deceive yourself. I want to just pray with you. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Thank you, Jesus. You still find yourself in sin, but you don't want to commit sin. God bless you, man. God bless you, sir. Raise above your head. You are, not, you are not raising it to me, you are raising it to God. I, I can see one, two, three, four, five of you. Just raise it. Join them now as I'm about to pray. And those that are downstairs, just raise up your wherever you are. If you want to surrender totally to Jesus. Father, I want to thank you for all this end lifted up. Please, Father, forgive their sins. Amen. Write their name in the book of life. The grace never to commit sin again released upon them. Amen. I cover all of you with the blood of, the Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I decree today it shall be well with Amen. you.
it shall be well with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, Dubai. the only prayer you are going to pray before I will do what that is saying. The it is where well that they normally used to play with you. Even some of us thought about this one. Well. It is well. If you are tired of the matter, you say, you want to pray it is well to manifestation now. Anything that you are passing through, you will shout, it is well on it. I will just look at my time and give you one minute. Whatever you are passing through, or whatever you aspire to get, you will be shouting on that matter. It is where. Are you ready now? You will shout the name of Jesus once. I begin to say it is where. One, two, go! Jesus! It is where. It is where. It is where. I thought he would be saying it louder. <laughs> it is well. Lord, Lord, it is well. It is well. It is well. It shall head well this week. It shall head well this week. Where this week? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I want to invite you to this special program that God has given to us many years ago. I mean, we have been running all throughout this program. God has been doing wonders, great mighty testimony. We call the program Destiny Encounter. This program comes up every Thursday in the morning by 7.30 a.m. At the redeemed presence of God, seed of life, Zona Ekota, Lagos will be starting in Julius Elevenu Street, of the Moon Street, beside Car Wash in Ketwala Quere, Lagos. Brethren, I want to sincerely invite you to this program. Join us in any Thursday, 7 30 a.m. Invite as many as possible. Anyone you know that is passing through one thing or the other, or someone that wants to know Christ more. I want to know Jesus, I want to serve the Lord, I really want to develop both physically, spiritually. Therefore, the place to go is Destiny Encounter. Come and the Lord God Almighty will bless you. See you in the next edition, the next Thursday, by 7 30 in the morning, and the God that we serve will answer you in Jesus' name. God bless you, I will hear your testimony.